More than 500 trained Red Cross disaster workers currently on the ground in Florida helping those escaping the storm. Several of those workers are volunteers from Colorado Springs. Caroline Peters joins us live from the Red Cross in the Springs with more on how these volunteers are providing relief. Caroline. The support from the Red Cross began even before the storm hit. Truckloads of blankets, comfort kits, and thousands of relief supplies were sent to Florida days ago. 13,000 people spent last night in shelters across Florida to escape Hurricane Ian. And those at the Red Cross say they expect more people to join the shelters as the storm progresses. We're preparing for 60,000 uh, people that will uh, utilize a shelter in Florida as we speak. More than 1,800 miles separate Colorado from Florida, but some community members have deep connections there. It's so important. Colorado Springs is one of the uh, military cities uh, throughout the country that really has so many people that reside here coming from all over the country. Florida is one of them. Uh, and uh, we get lots of phone calls at the Red Cross. We've got relatives over there. Can you help us out? We're not unable to reach them. It is absolutely going to be devastating for them. We've already seen um, what the winds and the rains are like, but we're expecting a ton of flooding. Um, they need all the help they can get. While some Colorado Springs volunteers are ready on the ground in Florida, others are on standby with a backpack and sleeping bag ready. The next group of workers will be given a 24 hour notice from airlines before they can fly out to help. Deploying is really important to me and to a lot of volunteers because we get to be on the ground with the people we're helping. Uh, we imagine what it would be like to be in that situation and hope that someone would come and help us. Katie tells me the volunteers have a top priority. That's to provide comfort to the Floridians as they face the uncertainty of this storm. We sleep on cots. We eat the same food they're eating. Um, we're there literally with them to give them comfort and care the entire time they're in our shelter. Anyone who wishes to donate to help these Floridians battling this storm can do so by visiting redcross.org. And our local Red Cross here, they tell me they can always use volunteers because unfortunately disasters happen. If you want to volunteer, just give them a call or also visit redcross.org. Back to you.